Beauty Friends, it's Anna here. Today I have a process video for you um, with the layout created with uh, August Kids from HipKit Club. I chose my color uh, palette and this will be this lovely um, pastel um, color combo. And I am starting with uh, cutting out some uh, heart shapes using those papers. I have a very old die by Tim Holtz and um, I am cutting it with my uh, Big Shot, but you can easily use a cut file. If you have one uh, for Silhouette Cameo, you can uh, use different shape um, than the heart, maybe a butterflies or stars, whatever you, uh, suits your theme. Um, and uh, I have um, four uh, hearts in every color, uh, two of each size, and I am trying to arrange them into some composition, uh, thinking um, about that uh, hearts in similar colors wouldn't lie next to each other, so I'm trying to spread them um, over the surface, creating kind of a visual triangles with every um, pattern. So as you can see, I already have visual triangles, triangle created with yellow hearts and uh, I need to finish the triangle with pink hearts and I will do that later. I am also thinking about how to arrange my pictures. I have two photos of my uh, younger daughter Maya. She was about a year old at this, uh, at, those, at this moment when I snapped the pictures and uh, she uh, was playing with her favorite toy. It's a funny story because they had, my daughters have still tons of, uh, tons of uh, toys but somehow she <laughs> she picked up this very old uh, wooden dog, wooden dash hound, and she was playing with it uh, all the time. <laughs> so fancy toys were uh, unused and this toy was uh, uh, in use. Um, and I want to scrap this moment. I have a 12 by 12 uh, marshmallow cardstock from Basil. This was included into the color add-on kit. Uh, and I am using uh, products from um, this month uh, color kit. Um, uh, no, the marshmallow was in cardstock kit, not in color kit. Sorry for that. I have two shimmer paints. One is Oki. Let me check the color. Oki Bear Blue. And the second one is Minor Minor 49er. And I am also adding uh, a little bit of uh, blue pink fresh studio liquid watercolor that was included in the previous month. And I am also adding a tiny bit of the yellow uh, pink fresh studio watercolor. Uh, after my background is dry, I am trying to rearrange the pictures and the hearts. I snapped the picture uh, of my composition before I removed um, the hearts to create a background. So. It should take me uh, a while, uh, only a short moment to um, to arrange them the way I like. I will also recombine them um, because now when I have a background, I see how they should uh, should go. I would say, and after I am happy with the result, I am going to add three uh, D foam squares uh, beneath each of the hearts to create more dimension and depth and it really looks good on pictures when you have layout with some layers it casts shadows and creates this fun depth uh, and when you have a flat layout it's not that easy to snap a good picture it's my opinion of course um, but still I love dimension <laughs> yes I am an addict when it comes to that and I use tons of uh, 3d foam squares and I this is the thing I buy a lot I would say um, when I shop for scrap supplies because I got plenty of products in my monthly hip kit so I do not need new papers or embellishments I only buy them like once twice a year uh, when some amazing collection uh, is released I am a huge fan of all crate papers so those are the collections I shop for if I don't have anything uh, if I don't have all the items in the hip kits I shop for them but uh, other than a crate paper and page Evans I usually do not buy uh, those collections because I have plenty of stuff from my design team to play with um, so um, 
uh, thing that I shop a lot are the uh, 3D foam squares, so I lost the thought. <laughs> I am adding uh, pieces of cardboard to add dimension under the pictures because uh, it's much cheaper than 3D foam squares and much easier to apply because you just apply glue and you can add the layer. You don't have to unglue those tiny protection pieces from every square, which drives me nuts. Uh, all you have to do is to apply glue and with a uh, bigger surfaces I always use a 3D foam square. I always use cardboard than 3D foam squares. Sorry, I'm somehow distracted today um, and can focus. I uh, I am gluing also two remaining uh, hearts that were, were not glued before because I was waiting for my pictures to be glued down and now I am adding more hearts. Yay! <laughs> it will be very hearty. Can I say that? Very hearty layout. I also have those super cute and adorable uh, hearts from uh, Amy Tangerine, a new collection. It was included, I think, into the um, into the embellishment kit, I hope, maybe. Uh, and they are double-sided, so you can use them other, uh, any side you want. You can punch a little hole and make charms uh, from them. Um, and I am using a tape runner to adhere them because I think it will stick better than the regular liquid glue. I trimmed the access of the hearts uh, that were uh, sticking behind the edges of my layout. And I am adding more hearts, fussy cut from one of the uh, Willow Lane papers. Um, I am picking the colors that match my color scheme, which is this mustardy yellow, um, reddish... Um, reddish pink, coral pink, uh, mint and this grey blue color I would say, um, maybe a grey color with this blue shade. Uh, I am really liking how this page is uh, turning and I am happy I, I, I am happy I went into the uh, hearts because they matches my sweet little kid so much. I miss the times when she was so little. She's five now and has her own opinion on every subject. <laughs> um, and she is cute, but in the other way than she was when she was one and playing with this ugly wooden toy. And I really miss those times. I will turn off the Facebook, sorry the noises um, and now when I'm happy with my background I am adding bits and pieces from uh, the kids mostly from the Willow Lane collection because this is uh, the collection we got the most stuff from this month um, I am also adding a title it will be a fav toy I was thinking about something more you know unique uh, longer but then I thought why I should <laughs> Why I should, you know, complicate it? Faftoy is a good uh, title for me, so let's go this way. I chose some cute little elements like rainbow, this kitten in the dress, a uh, bird, and I will also add some smaller uh, bits and pieces from um, from uh, puffy stickers from Willow Lane collection. There are some tiny foxes and pandas and they are also cute and they match this baby theme perfectly. Um, I love the uh, cardstock stickers. They are also always my favorite embellishment in every crate paper collection because they add so uh, much texture and interest to the pages. Mm, and those are the tiny heads, cute heads I told you previously and really I think they are made for my kids. <laughs> I have black title and I thought that I need something more black in this page but not in a big amount, only a little because I want to add a contrast and something that matches the title and I thought that I will uh, use the Mm, enamel uh, hearts from Amy Tangerine's collection to uh, you know add more black and it was the perfect idea I love how it all turned, all turned out I also add white sewing around the edges of the camera around all the layout and this is it I finished the page and I love how it turned out and I c encourage you to use similar um, project design uh, with different shapes, with different color combos. You can create boyish page, uh, more girlish page than uh, this baby one. 
uh, don't forget to check the links below and thank you for watching bye bye